In this video, we will take a look at an example environment that uses Inner Systems API Manager, or IAM, to monitor and control the HTTP-based API traffic coming from three different Gummy Bear factories to an endpoint in Inner Systems Iris. From the main page of IAM, we are able to view some high-level information about our system. We can see that 1,875 total requests have come in during the last five minutes, that many of them are failing, and that we have multiple different workspaces in our system. From this view, the Gummy Bear Factory workspace is showing quite a bit of red, which indicates that there are errors. Let's investigate that. Within the Gummy Bear Factory workspace, we find a very similar dashboard. In addition to the information about incoming requests, we can view the services we're exposing to our downstream customers. Also notice that we have basic authentication set up in the plugins area. In the consumers area, there are three consumers listed. Koala Candies, Grizzly Gummies, and Berry Sweets. Given that over half of the incoming requests on our API are failing, we want to look at the details of each consumer and try to determine what the problem is. Let's first take a look at Koala Candies. It seems like they aren't the culprit. Lots of green on this graph, meaning their calls are succeeding and they aren't the source of the error. Even still, while we're here, let's take a peek at their status code. Drilling down, we can see that they are actually making calls to version 1 of our API. It is still accessible, but since we released version 2, we want all our consumers to upgrade to the latest version. There's no need to restrict their traffic, but we should tell them it's time to upgrade as soon as they can. As for Grizzly Gummies, they're also in good shape. Lots of green, and upon closer inspection, we can even see that they've upgraded to version 2 of the API. Their developers are on top of their game. Finally, we'll take a look at Berry Suites. And we found the problem. All of Berry Suites' API calls are failing with a 404 error code, which means that the endpoint they're calling does not exist. Examining the error more closely, we can see that they are using version 2 in their calls, which is good, since they were told to upgrade to version 2. But they have not actually updated the endpoints in their application, so these calls are failing. These errors have been occurring for quite a while now, and we don't want this to have a negative impact on our system. So let's add a plugin on this consumer to limit the number of calls they can make to our system. Click the Plugins tab, and then Add Plugin. Find the Rate Limiting plugin and enable it. Within the Plugins settings, there is only one field to update for this particular scenario. Set Config Minute to 20. This will cap the consumer at 20 calls per minute, and we'll keep this plugin enabled until they have resolved their issues. Now, going back to the activity for this consumer, notice that a 429 error code appears. This error code displays as a result of calls being blocked by IAM after the 20 calls per minute rate limit has been exceeded. By limiting the rate of these bad calls, we prevent our backend from being flooded with bad requests and free up its resources to handle the incoming traffic from our other consumers. And again, once Barry Suites resolves their problem and incoming calls begin to succeed, we can release the rate limiting restriction and get their traffic back to normal. For a higher level view of the analytics of our system, we can view the status codes page within the vital section. Here you can see the number of calls falling into different status code ranges. By looking at the vital section, we get a dashboard with this information. Notice that multiple clusters could be shown here for a vertically or horizontally scaled system. IAM is built to scale, but this demo is simply run on a single node. More information about the latency of your calls can be seen below as well. Finally, coming back out of the dashboard for the Gummy Bear Factory workspace, let's highlight one more important feature, the developer portal. Within IAM, you can create a portal for this workspace that will provide developers at Berry Suites, Koala Candies, and Grizzly Gummies with all the information they need to successfully implement your APIs.